Welcome to the big chill. Seven dollars and twenty-three cents. Don't. If you tip me, I have to sing. Really? We gotta tip people! Okay, I'm gonna um, break. Wait, wait, wait. It seems like I made you mad. That's not what I want to do, because, baby, me and you could go together like a double scoop. Fine. You can walk me home after work. Perfect. It's a date. It's not a date. That sure sounds like a date. So, Saturday, here, I'll pick you up at 7. It's a date. Okay, fine. But just once, and it's not a date. Does this girl have a name? Isabel. One more? One more. Me and my dad, we try to formulate a plan. Honor Society, Student Council, track. Blah, blah, blah. Is that what you really want, though? Come with me. Whoa. That's called my boo for proof. Let me see what you got. No, I don't rap. Dude, you're wasting time. See you later on. I'm sorry, man. Look, just because I know what I want doesn't mean I always get it. But at least I'm honest with myself. What do you want? I want to take you out again. People do things when they're dating. We're not dating, Darren. You're gonna have to leave. Do you even like me? It's not that simple. Everywhere I look, I see you. I'm just chasing after something. Stop! Just Go. stop! Just stop! I have a year to live, if that. I'm Sari Cohen with Hollywood First Look Features, and I'm here today with Misha O'Korn, director of Life in a Year. I am super excited to be talking to you because I love this movie and you've got some incredible talent on your roster you've got you know Jaden and Kara and Riza but I want to talk to you specifically about what it was like sitting down with executive producer Will Smith what did it feel like when you knew he wanted to make your movie the first time I met him it was on the script reading and obviously uh, at the script reading there were also all the actors so to me it was like I'm with the same room with all these people and I had to pretend it's a normal day for me like you know yeah, it's Tuesday and I'm here and Will Smith is sitting three chairs from me um, but, but then you know and then I had to present myself and all this and my voice trembled but as soon as we start reading the script and everybody started liking it laughing enjoying it and then at the end when everybody was kind of hiding that they were crying uh, but Will Smith just let it go it was like, oh, this is beautiful. And then everybody's like, oh, he's crying. Then we can all cry. And, and you know, just crying fast. I realized it's going to be great. So we met after the script reading and, and Will gave me some comments. And at that point, because I'm passionate about what I do, I forgot who I'm speaking to a little bit because I'm like, oh, and I started debating with him, you know, his ideas. I'm like, we already tried that. Uh, I don't think it's going to work. And, and because I have this accent and because I'm passionate and energetic, I probably, from his point of view, it looked like a Russian general is screaming at him. At the end of the day, they like the fact that the director is passionately fighting for, for the movie, you know? And uh, so it was all around great experience working with them because, because um, this whole family is very emotional. And I always put emotions first before every intellectual other logical things. It should be emotions first. And that family is emotion first. So we were on the same page. That's what I wanted to ask you too. I mean, dealing with um, emotions because dramedy is kind of your thing. So what other dramedies came before that are kind of like the gold standard for you? I don't know. It, maybe it's not about the movies I, I saw. Uh, or it's more what I like in life. I like to laugh and I like to cry. And, and when you have that, and because I'm radical from those two points of view, there's like these two things that fight in, like maybe with every artist, you know, ups and downs, crying, laughter. And that's what I like in life. That's how I am in life. And that's how I like it in my movies. Uh, uh, especially when the, for the first half of the movie, it's fun. People let their guard down. And then you hit them with the emotions, and um, and that's and I love when people in one part of the scene they laugh, and then in the second part they cry, and they, it's like a roller coaster. They don't know what's going on, and I and and I think life in the year is in a similar kind of feeling. So life in a year has been out on Amazon Prime now for a little bit. What makes this a good holiday movie for people to watch? Well, because it gives hope. Uh, even though the subject is cancer, losing of love, you know, love and losing of somebody that you love, I think it still gives hope, and we all need that now. 
So for you personally, if you had one year to live, what are some of the goals that you would want to check off your list? I probably just spend it with people I love, which is kind of similar to this film in a way. Uh, I think when you when something like that, it's hard. It's probably it's so hard to talk about that because you're like, what would I do? It's like, just, would I be a strong person to even want to live that one year? or no, or would I be having hope, false hope that I can have more years? It's such a, uh, you know, the characters in our movies are so much stronger when it comes to that. Probably I wouldn't be as strong in real life. But yeah, I would try to, to spend it with the people I love uh, um, and have as much fun as possible and not care about the thing in the world like money and stuff. Well, I have had so much fun talking to you today and thank you for, for bringing this to life for everyone. Make sure you go check out Life in a Year on Amazon Prime. I'm Sari Cohen. See you next time. I know it's not always easy, but nothing ever is. That's why we make plans. Girl, let's run away. I have a plan, Izzy. We're going to live our full life, all the milestones, all in this year. Me and you. Go away, Darren. I don't believe in happy endings. Believe in me. One condition. Anything. You have to stop saying I love you. You want folks to feel your music, you got to feel it first. So what you got for me? Something, but it's rough. That's more than most people got. The only way to learn about life is by living. And I've learned that every moment is your moment. If you can manage to look past your own fears and everyone else's expectations, the reward is your life.